Hi there, my name is Yolita Brilliant and I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin and I'm making a video today to share the journey that I've gone through. Zero to one million. Actually, we're now over that for the past a year, two years almost. And we got above one million a couple years after COVID. COVID definitely put a ding in the timeline of our business growth as so it did to so many other business businesses that were services oriented or such as restaurants however we came out of it stronger than ever we really dialed down on our marketing so one mistake that people that want to grow their business that they make is they turn off their ads when they feel like oh we're all slow we're not making that much money we need to spend less on the marketing and if you want to grow your business you want to always have your advertising going like if you are not able to accommodate all the customers you don't turn off your advertising you hire more people you add more treatment rooms that goes as far as for like a spa massage skincare businesses it could go for let's say if you have like a law care or a handyman service that would go you just buy more trucks you just hire more people so if you want to grow when you slow down on the ads you stagnate the business growth and that's why a lot of businesses don't grow past a certain point because because they get busy with the word of mouth and then they have a couple people working and then they're comfortable they're like oh well we don't have to spend a dime on marketing but you know they're gonna be very slow growth that way organically so utilizing Google and Facebook ads is going to be the one important way how to grow your business assuming you're delivering quality services all these services and products and marketing strategy is what's going to take you to 1 million and then 2 millions and more and many locations in our case we are uh, our strategy to growth is we are now offering also franchise opportunities people that want to copy paste our model and adapt it to their local area their town and we want to teach people how to dominate your local area and your town and one of those strategies like i already said is marketing and and marketing marketing and marketing and marketing and it's also gonna be important to keep your attention rates you know teaching your staff your therapist to show up on time if it's one minute past the start time it's late you know keep Keeping that quality on the forefront forerunner for your business growth is the step number two. So marketing and then number two is quality, timeliness, speed to respond, speed to answer a call. I can't stress enough how frustrating it is to call a business that never picks up their phone or you have to call three times until they answer it and help you. Then you gotta try another business, right? You gotta keep calling until you get an answer. So your customers are not different. They want to hear from you. They want to get immediate answer, immediate result. They're short on patience. So make sure you have receptionists or whoever is answering the call that they're quick and fast to answer inquiries and don't lose the leads. Because here's the thing, like if you're paying for marketing, right? But you're not handling these leads correctly. You're not handling them in a timely manner. Then you're like wasting that money. You're wasting that marketing. So rule number two, speed timeliness don't waste money and once you get people in the door try to retain them do great service educate them about your services and products and memberships you know you might not need to keep increasing your marketing budget because then you got gonna have more and more of those members and then your yes. revenue will grow you are still gonna not turn off your marketing right but you won't have to spend as many per lead per new lead because now you have these recurring leads that are coming in so timeliness will help with your retention and customer satisfaction brand loyalty it's very important if any complaints you want to also always address them in a timely manner catch their response before it escalates you know before they start going to every social media outlet trying to say oh you know this company that therapist didn't show up and you know this happened because things might happen you know when you have employees People gonna get sick, people going to have family issues, people going to have personal things come up, issues. So sometimes that will happen where, you know, you canceled on someone last minute and now they're upset. You gotta respond promptly, try to fix, explain the situation. Most people will be understanding. So, you know, handling these customer uh, concerns or anything that is also very important. Post in the comments down below, do you catch your lead from the first call in your business? Or do you let them go to voicemail and then maybe a couple hours, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week? 
you answer that customer. That's going to be the one reason why your business is not growing or why is it slow. So these are two things we covered. The other thing is if you want to be the owner, you want to be the manager. First of all, out of day to day, being in a treatment room or being in a um, service delivery action, you know, whatever your business is, you know, primarily I'm talking here to massage and skincare professionals. But if you, you know, this applies to any business. If you like, again, handyman example or lawnmower example, or which is you know the landscape anything or you know a cook you know you want to get yourself out of the kitchen making those meals and delivering those massages because you can manage the team if you're always in a treatment room you can't grow the business if you're always in a treatment room maybe you can keep a couple favorite clients that you still want to deliver yourself as your business grows and you know you like so to speak in the trenches and you have your finger on a pulse but even that eventually you want to reduce and eliminate so you can save your energy for management because trust me once you start to hire more people you are going to need that energy you are going to need be able to help your staff answer some questions develop system and processes that's the other thing when you do something and teach someone you want to record it and document those things so next time it's easier to do it and show it to someone else especially when there is turnover and when you hire people you gotta keep in mind what compensation you're gonna offer to them because you know keep in mind like when you are making when you're delivering the service you know most of the profit you pocket minus you know maybe the, the space and the not so much marketing expenses when you're just one operator but if you're gonna have staff remember your overhead is gonna increase you're gonna have more expenses for real estate more expenses for supplies more expenses for marketing you might have even more complaints to deal with you know, for new staff that comes in so you have to keep that in mind so that way you want to have enough profit profit margin in there to take yourself out of delivering services. When I first started, got into this business hiring people, I overpaid people because also it was kind of, well, we were a very new brand and also there was a COVID time and it was hard to hire people, especially during that time, we almost had to overpay. But really it's more important the culture and uh, the benefits than rather just overpaying straight commission. So you always want to have that margin for business that you can take yourself out of delivering services to make business profitable and uh, you know the more revenue you have the easier it's gonna be so when you get to 100 200 300 400 thousand dollars that's when you should start thinking taking yourself off delivering any services or maybe you start a business and you you're not even licensed massage therapist or esthetician then you I guess you don't have an option of delivering these services so that's actually a good thing because you're already focusing and thinking like a manager and a lot of people that buy into franchise are already in that position They're they're not necessarily, you know, massage therapist or esthetician running a business. If you are a massage therapist or esthetician right now delivering services, if you want to grow your business, that's what you have to think about. You have to get yourself out of delivering those facials, waxing, massages, and study more sales. Study sales, learn sales, because once you know sales, you are going to be successful. Learn people's psychology, sales, matching the right service, the right product with the right customer is going to make your business grow. You know, so when we covered marketing speed and doing the right task that you're supposed to be doing as an owner manager operator don't be stuck in the service provider mindset you know at first it's for it's hard for some people to transition oh but i make more money you know if i deliver this special myself but it's opportunity cost you're missing the opportunity to hire maybe two three more people in your spot or five or ten people now that they actually when they deliver those services you're gonna actually go in the long run you now making more money per hour Hour when there's five people delivering a facial versus you delivering one facial at that time. So you have to think in a scaling mindset. It's a transition. It's a mind shift. The same, you know, the memberships, we are giving reduced rate customer, reduced rate. But in the long run, they usually end up spending more money because now they don't forget to come back every month. They might refer their friends and family. They may upgrade the services. They might buy products. So it's all about thinking in the long term gotta have the long-term vision long-term success plan that brings me to number point four you gotta be patient too you gotta be patient it's not gonna happen overnight you gotta start making these changes but they're not gonna make overnight you know and if you had have already staff and you introduce certain changes too fast you will notice that there is resistance so you know you gotta take gradually be tactful about it and be honest about it what's going on so you know it's gonna take time and you gotta reinvest in your business you don't want to when you start making those profits you know you 
don't want to take everything out of the business and start buying fancy homes, fancy car. You need to reinvest for growth. You know, if you add 500,000, you need to keep reinvesting. Now, take some out. You gotta live, you gotta food, you gotta eat, but don't, don't live beyond your means, you know? Before you hit a million, you're still only starting out. Your goal should be get to a couple million, open a couple locations, and then maybe you can go with a bit nicer house, a bit nicer car. Because if you take out too prof profits too soon, then guess what? You don't have enough money for marketing, bonuses for culture, for your company, you know, other thing you want to always make it very clean. You don't want to have shabby equipment or tools that are broken down. You need to constantly upgrade that stuff, keep it very clean, very nice. Because, you know, people eat with their eyes when they go to restaurant. The same thing, people receive services sometimes with their eyes when they go to the spa. Doesn't mean it has to be like this crazy build out. We actually don't ask that in our franchise plan. You know, we you can start small, just have very clean, nice paint job, flooring, everything clean and nice, but it doesn't have to be like marble and slate in this a trim that's specifically detailed like in Victorian mansions. You know, we don't have to have that. You know, that improvements can come later. 